Welcome to Hell Guys. This is Flower Gothic. I am filming from the southern portion of Satan's armpit. Anyway, to um no, this is not going to be a video based on Trump, obviously if you read the title. But continuing on with the um video topic. I used to like Yandere Simulator. I thought it was a clever concept, you know, you play a little schoolgirl who, you know, just killed people in order to get her senpai to notice her, I guess. It was, it was a good game. I mean, it was only in sandbox, sandbox mode, but I could, I liked it, but that all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. No, actually it did not. I actually read a very well-written article on the website Pretty Ugly Little Liar that discussed all the problems with Yandere Dev, the creator of Yandere Simulator. I'm not going to go into specific detail on his actions on this video. If you want to actually know more, I'll put a link in the description below. But he was accused, uh, he has been accused, and these accusations have been events, so shut up if you don't believe me. He has, been a, he has been accused of stealing assets from other creators and even pedophilia, I believe. Yeah, pedophilia. So, of course, knowing, now knowing the truth about this guy, I'm just like, nope, fuck it, I, I'm out, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. But I, I concern the fact that Yandere Dev is supposedly close to releasing the Kickstarter to fund his, um, game, I still had some time to, like, look at, I still had, like, the nerve to look at some of his videos. And after watching his latest video, I found so much wrong with it that I had to do a special Let's Watch like this. So, let's watch Meandere Dev's mid-January update. Yay! I have some bad news. However, over the past two weeks, a lot of stuff has been going on in my personal life that took up a lot of my time and took a lot of my attention away from Yandere Simulator. And you're not going to go into any more details about your personal issues because... Fucking seriously, Andre Dev, you could have at least said that one of your family members ended up in the hospital or you had to get emergency surgery. That would have made your claim about personal life issues a lot more believable. It's actually kind of miraculous that I went for two years without having any major interruptions like this. It's also miraculous that you've gone through two years of this shit without any major calling of your bullshit, besides the article I read on Pretty Ugly Little Liar. I didn't have the time to add something major to the game. You shouldn't really be working on the huge new features anyway when you promised your s all of your fans that you'd get your rival done by this month. Yandere-chan now has over 20 new hairstyle options. And you couldn't spend that time in Pumay no Sana because... Yandere Chen can now get one meter closer to Senpai before she loses her composure. Okay, to be honest, that actually makes the game a little less annoying, so... Yay? Use it to cauterize the wound of a corpse, so that the corpse will not leave a blood trail when you drag it. Yay? That's actually kind of clever. Just six students that were added to the game now wear friendship bracelets. Seriously, Andre Dev? Fucking friendship bracelets? Exactly how is this more important than making just a little bit of progress on one of the major, major, major aspects of your game? If Yandere-chan commits murder with at least four witnesses present, Yay! 
Yay! That's also actually kind of clever. <laughs> Yandere Simulator is supposed to make you feel like a predator hunting down prey. However, you shouldn't feel invincible. Every person at school is a potential victim, but is also a potential threat. By the way, in the animal kingdom, prey don't typically apprehend predators from what I'm aware, so this metaphor is kind of wrong. To you. I could tell you about the Osana-related bugs I fixed, but because I'm the only person in the world who has even experienced those bugs... And because you're the only person in the world, I believe, who believes that he should put in the smaller details before actually adding a major part of his game. Short, I did get to make progress on Osana, but it's not anything I can show you or tell you about. Kids, that's the code of... I didn't really work on Osana in the past two weeks. Show, don't tell, Yandereidev. Now, I'm going to talk about Metal Gear Solid 2. Wait, what? If you shoot this bucket, a bunch of ice cubes fall out. Ice cubes will actually melt. When I first saw this, it blew my mind. I was like, whoa, technology. Okay, what the actual fuck, Yandere Dev? I thought you were going to be talking about the game, but now you're talking about fucking ice cubes in a game I've never played before. What the fuck does this have to do with improving our sauna? What the fuck does this have to do for you getting closer to actually releasing a demo of the game that you can kind of go through with on Kickstarter? What the fuck, Yandere Dev? What the fuck? Shit, did I break? Nope, I didn't. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What are you doing? Recording. A what? Video. Is this going to be in the video? I don't know. Osana's phone won't have a charm on it. But if you do find the missing charm and return it to Osana, then the charm will be visible any time Osana takes out her phone. And this has to do with actually developing Osana enough to make the game a good Kickstarter project because... I want to put a lot of little details into the game to give people the same whoa technology feeling that I got when I played Metal Gear Solid 2 and saw all of the attention to detail. How about you do all the major parts of Osana first before you actually do those little details like the fucking phone charm? I didn't have enough time to implement a significant new feature before my next deadline. Actually, this situation is nearly identical to something that happened exactly one year ago. Oh my god! It's like you're trying to bullshit your way through the question of where the fuck is Osana. Stating that I wanted people to be able to take Yandere Simulator more seriously. If you want people to take Yandere Simulator more seriously, actually work on the fucking important parts of the game. Like Osana! It's on something serious that wouldn't be ready in time for the next deadline. Or do I work on something fun that can be completed within three days? How about you make some progress over what the game is actually about? Ever thought of that? Activating this easter egg requires the player to follow a few... steps. I'll look forward to watching YouTubers try and figure it out. While you sit on your ass and wait for... your stolen assets... to be developed by you... or developed by... Instead of thinking of it as a straight line, you can think of it as a circle that is growing outwards in multiple directions. Oh, right! A circle! Look, I've come up with a much more accurate one about you. I'm sorry that I didn't have any exciting Osana progress or any huge new features to show off today. 
because you chose instead to waste your time on some very pointless assets like the phone charm and the hairstyles and the fucking ice thing. What the fuck? And guys, that just about sums up my special Let's Watch of Yonder A Dove's latest video. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you want more if you want to read that pretty ugly little lawyer's article I mentioned at the beginning of the video. The link is below. I hope Mina-san has a kawaii time and hello desu. Bye.